Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video. And in this one, I want to talk about this helmet. This helmet is a beauty of a beast. It started off with a pretty crazy weekend for me. And I want to take you down and explain and describe it and basically just unfold the story behind this helmet and what happened this time around. Quick TLDR. My, the personal goal I have every league that I play is to create the best minion helmet for the uh, whatever meta minion build is being played. Last league was Mage Skeletons, this league is Mage Skeletons again, so the helmet is a Mage Skeleton Abyss helmet. Now this is a really fun goal for me to do, and I push myself very hard to achieve this. And the way I generate the of, most of my currency is through profit crafting and by simply playing a shitload of hours and not sleeping during the first, well, 7 to 10 days. And that's how I do it every time. However, this time... On the Friday, um, I was buying some Rayforge Keep suffix crafts, and the helmet got bricked by a person uh, who has uh, gone out in public with it, so he's fine with me saying his name, uh, Echo Sentinel. He uh, did a Rayforge Keep prefix, which bricked the entire helmet, and it had cost me about two mirrors to get the helmet to that stage. This was obviously a devastating blow, and um, I tried to do myself my, the best I could to keep myself calm and simply just, you know, it's pixels. Sure, a lot of time and effort behind them, but it's pixels. So I called the stream and I took a day off from uh, BOE, spent some time with my girlfriend, had a great night, you know, touched some fucking grass for once. Came back on the Sunday and I woke up to a bunch of messages on Discord, people saying that, hey, the community wants to step up and do this as a community craft because my initial plan was to craft it with my own currency with my team and then have a zero fee currency uh, exchange or fee or what do you call it zero currency fee for uh servicing the actual mirror service for the helmet so it's supposed to be a free service after we had spent all our currency on it uh obviously this one got heavily postponed because of the bricking of the helmet however the community reached out and uh, my mods told me that, yo, there's a bunch of people who wants to donate some currency to get you back on the helmet. Uh, Echo Sentinel who bricked it, he gave me all the currency he had, which was 20 Exalted, which is obviously a drop in the ocean compared to what we needed. Um, and I made the call and say that, hey, if, if the community really wants me to do this, I've never done a community craft like this before. Let's try it. Let's see if we can actually bring it back. So... On Sunday, I then pushed this like a madman, and there was, I think we had like 70 or 80x in total gifted by the uh, community, it was crazy. Um, I even got to the point where I managed to borrow a mirror to be able to afford everything we needed to buy for it. We ended up spending pretty much all of it, uh, which meant we spent most of the currency from me again to get everything back again. However, the most important part here is that the community, which was several hundred people stepping up for this, we uh, they gave me the crafts for free the actual harvest crafts so we actually powered through so many crafts uh, crafting this helmet that we finished the suffixes in about a mirror and we finished off the uh, the prefixes in a lot more than that um but I ne we never had to pay for the harvest crafts to achieve the end, end result however i did insist on paying for the augment influences because of how goddamn rare that was it was selling for about 8 Exalteds. I did pay 10 Exalteds each instead, since I was getting all the other crafts for free to the community. And eventually we actually f***ing finished it. It was crazy. Oh! Oh, yes! Ah! Ah! beautiful. Hey, give me a second. I need to pay you some extra for this. Here, take 20x for it, dude. Just. Oh! That is beautiful, man! Beautiful! Once we finished it, all we had to do was put an enchant on it. So we started running Gift of the Goddess. The community and myself, we all stepped up. We just got a bunch of these Gift of the Goddess that allows us to get a bunch of extra enchant. We brought in full parties into the lab run. We gave away any enchant we didn't need. We gave away that to anyone in the party that needed it in the group. And we cycled around a, a bunch of different people in there. And a bunch of people in their community got their best enchants for their own builds and their own helmets. Some for profit, some for using. It was just a wholesome experience to do this. <gasps> just... 
And eventually, after a little over 3,000 enchants, we finally got the skeleton enchant and we have it up for mirror service. It is completely free for everyone. We're done. Oh. And it's just been a, a crazy ride going from the Sunday, from the Friday bricking it, being feeling devastated about the time wasted into waking up on Sunday and just seeing the community just come together like this and do something like this. I've never done a community craft before. And this was just a, an extremely wholesome experience. I just want to make this video and talk about what happened and uh, just give a, a big shout out and a thanks to everyone stepping up and being part of this experience for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as, just as much as I did. I thought this was one of the craziest and coolest things I've experienced in Pee in a very long time. So thank you so much, everybody who did this. And uh, we would have crafted it ourselves. It would have taken us a week or two uh, extra, though, maybe probably a week. But instead, we did it in you know basically a day. It took two days for lab running, but one day to actually craft it. It was insane. On top of this, we had already broken subscriber records on the stream with 2,900 subscribers. We're currently sitting on 3,300 subs on Twitch, and it's just crazy to see how the community is doing and how they're how they're supporting the stream and the community that we've built together. I, I just I don't really have any other words or ways to express my gratitude for the support that's been shown to me, my community, Hannah, my moderators, and everything that we have in here. I just consider myself a gamer like everyone else who just happened to have enough time to put into you making guides and stream and eight years later this is where we're at and it's just absolutely crazy um but that's basically the the tldr storyline of what happened to the helmet it went from getting very expensive to bricking entirely to being finished in a goddamn day and then two days of lab running to get it done so just a big thank you to everyone supporting the stream and everything we've achieved. This was my first community craft that we actually accepted donations from viewers. It's something I never do in the first week of a league to do these crafts because I want to do it myself. But this time we did. And I just want to thank everyone who participated in this. It was absolutely amazing. And a big shout out to Kikis for editing the videos and all the other YouTube videos he's posting up for us as well. We have tons of content coming up for you guys. A lot of House of Mirror Gambas because we're going to try to push 100 mirrors without charging anything for copying the helmet, of course. So we're going to see if we can achieve it this league. And we got a wolf build coming up as well uh, in the coming days or week at least. So guys, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the story and um, what happened to this helmet. It's, it's just insane. So thanks so much for watching. If you power through this long in the video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So as always, till next time. Stay safe. Keep rocking.